I feel like most people, um, myself, and I don't want to speak for you, Gideon, but based on what we talked about in, in recaps, it seems like you included sort of have the same sentiment of the season that it was a great cast. Um, one of maybe one of the better like newbie casts of new school survivor, but that the season was clouded a lot by a lot of things production was doing with all the twists and the like fake out merge and like the summits and the, like not only them being twists, but them going to like people like at random as opposed to them being like earned through something. Um, I think that's, it seems like what I've been hearing on survivor, Reddit, Twitter, that's sort of been like, the general consensus of the season um are those along the lines of your thought of the season like as as a fan assuming you watched it when it was airing yeah um i think that the twists do take away a lot of the authenticity of the game um mm -hmm. and kind of the purpose and it's a social experiment and you know jeff says things like no we want to see how they react to this and that and this and that but then it becomes more about a game of luck but then at the same time, like Jeff did make a good point. Like the first time a hidden immunity idol was introduced, like the world was like, screw that. Like that's terrible. <laughs> but now like what is Survivor without a hidden immunity idol? Or like the first time there's a tribe swap, like everyone was like, what the fuck? Like this is crazy. <laughs> but like we were like, where's our tribe swap the whole season? So it's like there are small changes. And I do think it like mirrors society also because everyone in society is like, trying to make a change and people are like, wait, but that's too much right now. Let's make right. small changes at a time. So it depends on how you view change in general. And that's more of a philosophical question. So it's like with Survivor too, like, sure, like maybe I'm thinking like, oh, this is too much change at one time, but maybe this is where it was going the whole time. So who knows? So like, I try to keep an open mind about it, but like at the end of the day, it's not society, right? It's a microcosm of society. So I would say, yes, it is too much of a change at one time. Not to say that change is bad in Survivor, but I think it was a lot, a lot. And I think maybe in like five more seasons, then it would have been a little more palatable. But like right now, I just, I think there was just way too much. Yeah, well, Adam and I agree with that, with the twists and stuff, but we thought it was a great cast. But let's say the hourglass goes away completely and you aren't a robbed goddess. Let's say you're on the jury now and, and you don't make it to the end and somehow you get voted off without being screwed by a twist. Who would you who would you have voted for in that final three? I probably would have voted for Deshaun. Hmm. He was like, nice. assuming he didn't fuck me over. Like, okay, so here's the thing. Like, right. I was like, oh, you have to vote for the best player. I would have 100% voted for the person that didn't fuck me over. Even if it was the greatest move of the season. Like, whoever was, is probably who I would have voted for. So I think it's contingent on that. But based on what I saw, um, I feel like Xander played one of the better games. I understand why Erica won, but I liked Deshaun the most. Therefore, I would have voted for my boy. To watch the rest of the interview. Make sure you click on the video that is appearing on your screen right here. Click on it. It's awesome.